Hey guys, that monkey went back here for another video. Guys, a little update on my mud, uh, mud head, oh yeah, mud master grind. Right now I'm at 19 out of 100 event ticket or event master collectibles, guys. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I need 81 more wins on salary cap ranked. Oh, not salary cap, uh, draft champions ranked. And as you can see, I need a lot. 81 to be exact. I've been playing online head, uh, so I wait, yeah. Draft champions ranked all freaking day, guys. I got the biggest headache. My head filter is gonna explode. But as you can see, I do have these three done, and then I have to get all these solos done. Uh, the again, head to head grinding done, and then I have to get all the elite badges, which shouldn't be too difficult. But it's just very annoying, guys, right now. And <sighs> let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to um, Sniping with That Muck Gamer, guys. There's a little update on my, you know, pretty much what's going on with me with Mutt Master. I'm trying my best to get it as soon as possible, but obviously it's not easy. And I don't know how people who have already gotten it, how they're getting it. Because it's like so freaking much grinding online. You have to play a lot of Bobo. We got to play EA's Bobo all the time online. And it is just all together the most annoying thing you could possibly do. So let's get right into the sniping series though. So, uh, you set up to elite whatever team we're going to start with, which is the Chicago Bears. And then let's see which ones we can snipe. And we'll see if we can actually snipe any. Um, obviously, we usually always get we usually always get a NFL Honors card snipe. For some reason, I have no idea why. We missed one last week. I mean last video, so it kind of sucked. But let's see if this this um this time we can actually get one. And let's see, so that Elvis Dunaville, let's see if he's still up. Because if you guys remember, I don't think it has been 24 hours. Alright, so he's not still up. Unless he's a left outside linebacker. Oh. It looks like, this actually might be the same guy, and he just put it up for 8k cheaper. So maybe that wasn't bad that we missed it. Because it was selling for 88k, and we already, that guy got it for around 60, so... Uh, it, it was a missed snipe, sadly, but it's a whatever. Let's see. 21k, nah. Alright, guys, so what are we going to talk about today? Team of the Weeks are out right now, and I talked about in another video. Pretty much, the way to invest is just going to be buy them this weekend when they're cheap, sell them next week when they go back up in price. That's pretty much how you're going to be walking the Team of the Weeks. <clears throat> Also, last video, I think we talked about head-to-head -head on which game mode to play, which is the best. Obviously, um, if you don't pay coins to play, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to get it done easier. You know, actually get the whole thing, the sequence done of getting head-to-head, -head, you know, challenges. Um, this Dak Prescott, he apparently 83 speed. I looked at this in another video, but apparently he's really good. But I have heard that he fumbles a lot. I don't know if that's 100 true, but that's what I heard. So I could not recommend that card. I mean, I know like any quarterback runs gonna fumble, but like I heard like literally, if you even like want, you know, if you're going to the ground, 90% of the time he'll fumble. So I mean, I know that's most quarterbacks, but still. Um, let's see what promo is coming up. Coin ups might be coming out this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Usually, coin ups are for Sunday night games, so it would be um, oh, I want to say the Steelers play Sunday night or they play Monday night. Let's see. Um, 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 um oh, Patriots Arizona. So there's probably gonna be a coin up for that. Um, <coughs> let me try to guess what coin ups are gonna be. If Jimmy Garoppolo scores. Oh no, hang on. It's going to be like 2K per touchdown. Gr Jimmy Garoppolo throws. Um, probably like one touchdown per uh 1K 1K coins per touchdown. David Johnson scores, and then as you go up, it's gonna be like if the Honey Badger gets a pick six, that's going to be you know the highest rank. That's probably gonna mean the 100K. You get 100K if Honey Badger gets a pick six. I'm just taking a guess on that. Um, I'm guessing, you know, if Arizona 
records three plus sacks on Garoppolo, that's probably fifty thousand, or maybe four plus sacks, something crazy like that. And I'm, that's probably going to be what they're going to do. And something about David Johnson, maybe if Gronkowski catches two touchdowns, it's twenty-five k. I'm guessing that's how they're probably going to orient things. Usually, the first ones, in all, I mean, the hundred k is always the most difficult, pretty much. The hundred k is never easy to get. And it usually is like so crazy, whatever the um, circumstance is, that it probably won't happen. But that's why I love going with the 100k ones. Like honestly, that's the one that I always go with no matter what. And the reason why is because it's so, it, it's such a risk, but it could pay off so much. And, you know, take, what did it take? It takes you about a minute, two minutes, up to seven minutes to do these solo challenges. Why not take the risk? For a two minute solo to get 100k. Like, I don't, I just don't see the reason not to take the risk. Um, okay, no, that's good price fine. But yeah, so that's pretty much my, like, my thought process behind how I like to orient those things. But, um, like coin ups, I usually just go with the most risky, and I usually, that's pretty much what I do. Um, other than that, Next promo is September. Is there any promos in September? Um, I know October was Halloween. September, hmm. I don't think there's any promos in September. I really don't. I, uh, maybe. I mean, there's going to be little promos, but like the big promos start in October, November, December, January, you know. Those are the big promos. Pretty much right now, there's not going to be a big promo for a while. Like a big, when I say big, I mean like, you know, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's not going to be like, you know, like a crazy, crazy 300 cards out of the game promo. Which, um, right now, the closest promo to us might be Road to the Playoffs. It's either Road to the Playoffs or it's, um, it, or Halloween. I think Road to the Playoffs, if I'm incorrect, I'm probably completely incorrect. I believe it starts in like late October. I know BCA starts before um, Halloween, but BCA doesn't add too, too many cards in the game. Like Halloween promo does. But I believe, I might be incorrect. I don't, actually no wait, Road to the Playoffs, never mind. Road to the Playoffs start in like December, I think. It's pretty much like right around the playoff time. So, um, yeah, so Road to the Playoffs, of course. That's actually a huge, huge promo. Though that's the one promo that honestly really could make or break investments. So if so, if you invest a lot in going into the Road to the Playoffs promo, Road to the Playoffs promo, pretty much every gold card you see is going to get an upgraded Road to the Playoffs card. Every um, a lot of, like every team's going to have like two or three different elite cards that have Road to the Playoffs cards. They're probably going to be MVP sets like they're all every year. And that's pretty much just the t the Man in the Month sets. But Road to the Playoffs versions. So, someone commented and actually said, should, you, should I keep my collectibles for the Man of the Month? Or, should I sell my... Should I, um, wait, should I put them in the set right now and do the Man of the Month? Or should I sell them, or, like, you know, hold on to them for next month when the next Man of the Month set comes out? And correct, yeah. If you, what's if in a perfect world, guys, you could do that, and the next you could use those same collectibles for next month's players, right? In a perfect world, this isn't a perfect world when it comes to this game, okay? I don't want to say that it's this is definitely a case, but I think this is 100% going to happen. They're going to use different collectibles. For next month's set. Now, why? So people can't do what you guys are talking about right now. They don't want you guys to be able to get the cards in the second they release, like all these other cards before. I just don't think they would want you to do that. So that could, honestly, I could be 100% incorrect, and you could be watching this video when the next month comes out, and you're like, oh, you were stupid. You could hold the collectibles. But as of right now, my thought process is the second that new Man of the Month collectible comes out, all the other collectibles you have for the August one are going to be useless. And I'm 
thinking in my head right now that didn't we buy you for didn't we sell you for like 80 or 90k might be incorrect no that's that's good price i might and i might be 100 incorrect and i might sound like an idiot babbling right now but i just don't think ea would do that i think ea is going to come out with a new collectible for those sets and then when it comes to road to the playoffs time I think they're going to have a new collectible for the road to playoff sets. I think it's not going to transfer over because they're not going to want you to be able to do that and get the cards right away. Even though they're non auctionable and tradable, I don't, I just don't think they're going to want you to do that. What's Charles speed? 89 speed. Uh, every player in this game is slow though. But yeah, so I just don't think they're going to want you to do that. Now I could be 100% incorrect. And, you know, that could be a case. But I hope you guys, at least, you know, who really are thinking about this, and you kind of understand that they're probably going to do that. They're probably not going to let you transfer them over. And that's just honestly the sad part of it, because they really should, but that's, that's just something I don't think they will let you do. And based on previous things we saw with EA, they tried their best to make sure, you know, we don't have too many great things without trying for them so and that would just be too easy i mean you get a 90 overall team and if it if it does happen right oh my god that'd be awesome but i just don't think it's going to happen so pretty much um let's talk about a little bit more about road to the playoffs because i had to touch upon it a little bit but let's talk more about it as a whole road to the playoffs comes out right around playoff time and the whole idea of it is the, every single gold card gets a new upgraded gold card and it says Road to the Playoffs on it. And also, every single the, I think every team gets at least two new elite cards based on who's been playing best for the squad. I don't know if the teams get like to vote for that, but I just know that every single team gets two upgrades. So... Yeah, that's awesome and all. There's new sets, there's new MVP sets. Also, what comes out during that is throwback sets. So, it happened two years ago and it happened last year. I'm guessing it's gonna happen this year. Throwback sets for throwback cards are any card that was used, that, I'm sorry, any card, Mutt card from Man 13, not Man 13, Man 25, Man 15, and Man 16 will be in those throwback sets. There'll be a randomly select chosen of them, put in their throwback sets, and they will be coming out when um, the Road to the Playoffs comes out this year. What does that mean with investments? A big way you can invest in Road to the Playoffs, and of course that's not gonna come out for two more months, so just keep that in mind. And what I did last year was I stacked up on Elite Badges when they were going for nothing. So if Elite Badges go back to nothing, right now the 23k, don't touch them. When they go back to, let's say, 10k, there's always a chance that could really, really, there could be a really, really big, you know, jump in price when throwback sets come out in the game. So that's something to look at, obviously, you know, and when I say that those are risky investments, and sad to say, right now, there's not too many safe investments. I mean, other than investing, maybe investing into some of these bundles, um, you know, investing into, you know, most of the investments right now are risky, but that's normal. I mean, this is the beginning of the year, guys. So there's not there's not too many cards out. When there's a lot more cards out, when a lot more sets out, that's when investing is so freaking easy. And again, I will make videos whenever there's a good investment to make, and I will try my best to make sure anyone who watches that video can invest before and see that video before the price goes back up so that's me my goal guys for the season is to make sure that i can you know bring the content to you right away as i learn about new investments so that's pretty much it for this video guys i don't think it was that short but if it was kind of short i'm sorry i just have a headache because of freaking stupid um because of stupid ea boo boo all day online grinding oh my god Mutt Master is definitely a grind, guys, and I know a lot of people have done it already, but I don't know how because it is just annoying as all heck. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Pretty good. Comment, subscribe, like for more videos. Um, this time we could actually get one, and let's see 
So that Elvis Duneville, we'll see if he's still up. Because if you guys remember, I don't think it has been 24 hours. Alright, so he's not still up. Unless he's a left SL linebacker. Oh. It looks like... This actually might be the same guy. And he just put it up for 8k cheaper. So maybe that wasn't bad that we missed it. Because it was selling for around 88k. And we already, that guy got it for around 60. So, uh... It, it was a missed snipe, sadly, but it's a whatever. Let's see. 21k? Nah. Alright, guys. So, what are we going to talk about today? Team of the Weeks are out right now. And I talked about in another video. Pretty much, the way to invest is just going to be buy them this weekend when they're cheap. Sell them next week when they go back up in price. That's pretty much how you're going to be walking the Team of the Weeks. <clears throat> Also, last week, I think we talked about head-to-head -head on which game mode to play, which is the best. Obviously, um, if you don't pay coins to play, you're not going to have, you're not going to be able to get it done easier, you know, after you get the whole thing, the sequence done of getting head-to-head, -head, you know, challenges. Um, this Dak Prescott, he apparently, 83 speed, I looked at this in another video, but apparently he's really good. But I have heard that he fumbles a lot. I don't know if that's 100% true, but that's what I heard. So, I could not recommend that card. I mean, I know, like, any quarterback runs going to fumble. But, like, I heard, like, literally, if you even, like, want, you know, if you're going to the ground, 90% of the time, he'll fumble. So, I mean, I know that's most quarterbacks, but still. Um, let's see, what promo is coming up? Coin ups might be coming out this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Usually, coin ups are for Sunday night games, so it would be um, oh, I want to say the Steelers play Sunday night or they play Monday night. Let's see. Um, 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 um oh, Patriots Arizona. So there's probably gonna be a coin up for that. Um, <coughs> let me try to guess what coin ups are gonna be. If Jimmy Garoppolo scores. Oh no, hang on. It's going to be like 2K per touchdown. Gr Jimmy Garoppolo throws. Um, probably like one touchdown per uh 1K 1K coins per touchdown. David Johnson scores, and then as you go up, it's gonna be like if the Honey Badger gets. Hey guys, that monkey went back here from the video, guys. A little update on my mud uh mud head. Oh yeah. Mutt Master Grind. Right now I'm at 19 out of 100 event ticket or event master collectibles, guys. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I need 81 more wins on salary cap ranked. Oh, not salary cap. Uh, draft champions ranked. And as you can see, I need a lot. 81 to be exact. I've been playing online. Head uh, salary, yeah. Draft champions ranked all freaking day, guys. I got the biggest headache. My head filter is going to explode. But as you can see, I do have these three done. And then I have to get all these solos done. Uh, the Again, head-to-head -head grinding done. And then I have to get all the elite badges, which shouldn't be too difficult. But it's just very annoying, guys, right now. And <sighs> let's get right into the video. Hey, guys. Welcome back to um, Sniping with That Muck Gamer, guys. There's a little update on my, you know... Pretty much what's going on with me with Muttmaster. I'm trying my best to get it as soon as possible. But obviously it's not easy. And I don't know how people who have already gotten it. How they're getting it. Because it's like so freaking much grinding online. You have to play a lot of Bobo. -bo. You got to play EA's Bobo -bo all the time online. And it is just all together the most annoying thing you could possibly do. So let's get right into the sniping series though. Uh, you set up to Elite whatever team we're going to start with, which is the Chicago Bears. And then let's we'll see which ones we can snipe. And we'll see if we can actually snipe any. Um, obviously, we usually always get we usually always get a NFL Honors card snipe. For some reason, I have no idea why. We missed one last week. I mean, last video, so it kind of sucked. But let's see if this, this 